Hey everybody, this is Doe with the Rush Network, back with Game 2 between Druby and Slush. This time it's going to be played on Steps of War. This is a, a series from MLG and the Losers Bracket as well. And it's always fun to see the uh, members of the same clan fight against each other. You have to kind of assume that these are players that have played against each other before in the past, so they kind of know each other's styles, so that kind of lends to some crazy uh, decisions sometimes. So we're going to have to see if anything like that happens in any of these three games. First game was fairly standard, and uh, this game on Steps of War... Okay, here's my, here's my generic Steps of War description. Steps of War is a short map that favors early aggression. So, uh, yeah, Steps of War does favor early aggression. We'll have to see if any of that happens. Between these two players here, it looks like we do have an SCV going out to start up the wall for Druby, which is always a good decision as Terran on Steps of War. And it uh, looks like Slush is sending out his Overlord across here. And I like the pathing that Slush is doing with this Overlord. If we kind of follow the path here, as you can see on the minimap, he's going right around here, just kind of scouting for that early expand at the natural. And then uh, he's going to be able to poke in and also see the ramp and see what his opponent is planning there. That also protects his Overlord from being sniped off by any Marines, which is a bad, bad thing to happen if you're playing Zerg. You don't want to lose that first scouting Overlord. So uh, doing a good job sending that first one out at an angle to protect it. In the meantime, we do have Druby sending out his first scouting SCV. He's going to see what his opponent is up to. And it looks like what his opponent up to right now is getting his spawning pool. That is a very early pool, though. That's a... Wow, that was a pool on, like, 7 or 8. And he's getting gas as well, so I think we're going to see an early... Yep, there's the Roach Warren right there. So Slush planning on doing some sort of early Roach all-in. And, uh, wow, if, if Druby's not expecting this, this can be uh, very devastating. But Druby coming in with the SCV, he is going to see that Roach Warren... Slush doing a great job trying to keep him out, but he is going to get through those drones, and he does see the Roach Warren and the pool already finished, so Druby has to know what's going on. Let's go back to his base real quick here, and there goes the bunker right now for Druby. So Druby knowing what's coming, first Marine on the way, and he's going to try to have to defend against this early Roach aggression from Slush, basically a Roach all in, so we're going to have to see if Slush is able to pull it off. Roach Warren almost finishing now, his uh, Overlord coming into the edge just to do some scouting as well to check out the ramp. For Druby, he will see that uh, Tech Lab going down as well as he gets a little bit closer. Bunker already done for Druby, so Druby in a good pl good position right now to defend against that SCV, just kind of hanging out, ready to give Druby the info when the forces for Slush move out, and also bringing down some SCVs preemptively to repair. So uh, Druby is going to be getting some Marauders right away. Of course, Marauders very good against Roaches with their plus damage to armor. And here come the first three Roaches for Slush. We're going to have to see if they can do any sort of damage. And Druby taking the opportunity to move in with his SCV after the Roaches move out just to see if there's anything else going on. If, he's, if Slush has added on any more drones, and he really hasn't. Fourth, fourth Roach on the way for Druby. Slush has pulled guys out of gas as well. He is just planning on producing some Zerglings to back up the Roaches. And the first three Roaches are getting to the ramp of Druby. They're going to... Actually, they're going to skirt around the side. He's going to use the vision from that Overlord to start picking off that Supply Depot. Druby having to move his SCVs over to repair it as fast as he can. And this Marauder is going to be able to start doing great damage to those Roaches. But that Marauder has to move back. He might get in range. The Marauder taking some damage. Druby, don't lose your Marauder. And he does pull it back just in time. So the range for the Marauder really saving uh, Druby right now. And it looks like Slush is actually in a little bit of trouble between the repairing for the SCVs and the Marauders that are going to continuously come out for Druby. Although he's not producing any more right now. Slush may be in trouble. Yeah, Slush pulling back. And now he's in a real difficult position. As you can see, I guess I've had the income tab up the whole time. And uh, yeah, you can see that his income is significantly behind. Only 12 drones right now. And Slush GG's. Wow, okay, so... Slush kind of knowing that at this point the economy is so far behind, not really able to do any damage with that Roach push. Druby doing a great job of scouting out that Roach Warren early on despite Slush's best efforts. So, uh, wow, yeah, Slush trying a gamble doesn't quite work out, but that's okay because he is one game up anyway. So now the series is tied 1-1, one and one, so let's go right on to game 3 and see who wins.